Like Jutsau, Hyunso, when on the outside, allows us to circle and control the person's arms. So if I create a double outside gate position by jumping and jumping and creating a double outside gate position, it doesn't matter how I get the position. The main thing is at the moment, I'm on the outside of both arms. Shinsa allows me to circle. It allows me to circle and hit. And with two hand contacts, if I circle with one, I can also strike with the other as well. Striking with the other allows me to deflect attention from one arm by actually circling and applying pressure on that and then creates an opportunity for the free arm. In my opinion, I think Hyun Sa is a great self-defense move. It's a great move for self-defense, especially when you're trying to bridge against an attacker or a fighter who has a short bridge with his hands back. The reason being is that if he has his hands back, it's quite difficult to get hold of his arms. If you can manage to get in and create a stick by hitting into the arm, you can create a situation where you can slap, strike and open up. So you can use two hands effectively. That's very similar to the last point where I mentioned you punch, you open with the hewn and you hit. But given that we actually start from a, from a closer position, we're actually facing each other, it gives me the option if his hands are up and slightly forward that I can actually make contact and now with a double hand contact, I can either hewn and hit with this, hewn and hit with that. But if I do it quickly and successfully, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it gives me a great opportunity to actually take control, bridge and hit the guy before he can actually respond. So effectively, I overpower him with speed one, okay, and the ability to open. And you can see, naturally, Matt's doing this. His arms are being opened, okay, they're being stretched. And as they're being stretched, he's exposing his neck by pushing his shoulders down because he's tensing, he's panicking, he's doing this, it's depressing. Once he does that, Hyun works effectively to change into a chop. So if I was trying to do a Hyun sound, the guy was too strong for me, then effectively I chop off. I just change the wrist shape from the circle by turning the wrist and the elbow out, I chop straight to a straight line to the throat. So it's a great move. It's a great move because the hewn doesn't work, I have a valid technique, whether I change to a chop or even a jut. Because sometimes you get to this situation, you try to circle, the guy's too strong for you, you can jut, then chop. So you can now create a situation where you circle around, he's too strong, you can chop, you can jut and chop. It's really dependent on what you feel, how strong he is, where he places his arm. If his arms are slightly wider, Jut cell would be the better option because it retracts and brings his arm back to the center. If his arms are towards the center, if I've created a double outside gate and I'm trying to set up with a hyun in that position it was quite easy, but I'm trying to set up, then from this position a straight chop is fine because he's narrow to the center, chop's going to go around. Be slightly out, jut cell will give me a better position to control. So just to recap, hyun is a great self-defense move because you can bridge, overpower people with speed, one, and move in and control them quite quickly. If it goes wrong for you and you find that you've got a struggling scenario, which very often in an outside gate scenario, you're going to have a struggling scenario. You've got arms on the outside. You can change the situation from here quickly to a jut cell, or just pull the wrist back, create a chopping knife hand where you're thro chopping and you're going for the throw. And look again, mats like this. Very often when you're using these circling and striking rising shapes, it exposes the jaw, allows you to strike to the throat, the soft, soft underbelly of the skull.